Hello everybody, welcome to this week. Uh, my name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer, developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Thank you for joining me on this lovely autumn day. Uh, we're going to have a talk about some of the multi-page work that we did this week, plus some bug fixes, some little tweaks to the layers, uh, wid widgets, and uh, even a website fix. Uh, first of all, as always, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of the people who pay for me to work on Inkscape. Um, I think it's very important that uh, the users themselves, you, you guys, are involved in um, being part of the creative process of making Inkscape better so that uh, we developers can um, have a living, but also that we have a reason to listen to what you need. And in that vein, uh, we're going to start off with a fix that was requested by a Patreon develop, uh, Patreon uh, subscriber last week. I must mess that up then. Uh, were They noticed that when you opened up an uh, Adobe Illustrator SVG file in Inkscape and you tried to copy the objects when they were grouped into a new Inkscape win window, all of the styles, things like fills and strokes and things, would be lost. This is because Adobe Illustrator SVG store everything as a class in, in CSS, and Inkscape it was not handling the copying process well. So uh, on his request, I, I went in and I figured out how to uh, collapse the styles correctly so that when you copy them or over, um, it doesn't lose the fill and stroke and various other things for those objects. Um, that should make working with Adobe Illustrator SVG files some e easier. Uh, also, intern James this week has fixed a pro problem with the text. Uh, the flowed text had this issue where when you move both the frame and the text together, the text became offset. Basically, it double applied whatever the tra transformation was. And um, he's been digging through, th through that for a couple of weeks now. Now, he's managed to actually fix the main issue, which is that the text, when you let go of the mouse, will actually go to the correct place. But while he was investigating it, he found that there was a secondary issue, which mean, meant that it wasn't possible to fix uh, the position of the text as you were dragging it around. Uh, this is actually a, an ongoing issue because it also affects other things, such as the text on path and also the older flow, flow root text, um, for those of you who have old S SVGs. So what he's going to do is he's going to work on fixing that secondary issue next. Um, but these are these are really hard I issues that in intern James is work, work, working on, to be honest. Um, so I'm, I'm very pleased that he's managed to get, get, get that one fixed. Um, you probably noticed on Twitter that I added a small flourish to the layers wid widget. That uh, visual uh, improvement actually went alongside a whole bunch of fixes for the layers wid wid widget, which is now merged in. Uh, thank you, everybody, for reviewing that code. Um, I think that's a much healthier part, part of Inkscape now. Uh, but you're probably here to hear some of the updates for multi-page work. Uh, and that's actually going quite well. I, I haven't actually worked on it for a couple of weeks because I've been doing this layer stuff. And uh, so I, I started by talking to Mike Harv and Adam about the design. And I talked to some of the developers about some of the development issues and like sort of what the next tasks are. And uh, so what I did was I, I started by working on the resize problems. There was, it wasn't reporting the resize correctly. It, it didn't allow you to type in the, the size. So I added a, a feature where you could actually type in 50 centimeters by 10 centimeters, for example. Um, I also made it so that you, the, the difference between having one page and multiple pages in Inkscape, is actually the difference between having zero pages and two paid paid pages or more. That's going to be the joke going forwards in Inkscape. There is no such thing as one page. There is only zero pages or more than one. Um, so what this basically means is that if you create a new page, it actually has to create two. It has to create one that's centered on the view box and another one. And when you delete the second to last page, it deletes both of them, both of the remaining pages, and moves the view box to whatever the remaining page position was. Um, it's a whole bunch of gymnastics, basically, to maintain a consistency so that Inkscape can support both 
SVG traditional, you know, non-multi-page documents, but also have some reasonable user interface understanding about like what a multi-page document looks like. A lot of this is to, to do with like Inkscape developers want to maintain how um, Inkscape works. I also made it so that some of the widgets that appear when you have a multi-page document don't appear if you have a single page document. Um, so that should actually keep the interface clean for people who are not interested in pages. Um, and there's just been a lot of clean up, connecting signals together, making sure that things are um, cor correctly updating the right things and they're not going to slow things down. Um, I know that there's some other things that I did this week. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the website stuff. So I replaced the recapture, the Google recapture on uh, the Inkscape website with a, an internal capture. Uh, this was important because we didn't want a security. We didn't want Google tracking Inkscape users. We were we were only using it in the logon page, in the sorry registration page and the password reset page. But even that was too too much. So with a bit of prodding, I actually got rid of it, and it's now just a bog standard capture. Um, so thank you for people for pushing me to uh, fix these issues. Um, you too can push me to fix issues. Uh, if you come onto Patreon, you can message me direct, direct, directly. Let me know what kinds of things you think I should be working on, what problems you think I should be prioritizing and fixing. Uh, the, this multi-page stuff, I really want to get it finished so that it's in Inkscape. Um, but that doesn't mean that I can't uh, see about fixing other stuff, especially if it's something like a crash. Those kinds of things are going to be high, high priority no, no matter what. So thank you for jo joining me this week. Uh, next week is going to be a Thanksgiving special, I think. So, but we'll see how that goes. And um, yeah, have a very good week.